Hello, hi, my name is Crow. Welcome to Driftwood Hollow Drums. I'm doing a sound demo video for you today and it's to accompany one of our listings on our Etsy shop. And it's for this rather special drum just here. This is a horse skin drum. And as you can see, it's been dyed uh, quite randomly and abstractly in the background. And there is a silhouette of, I think it's a crow, but I'm crow, so I'm biased. <laughs> it's whatever bird you think it is, uh, and whatever you feel it is, and whatever you feel drawn to. But yeah, so I've done this beautiful little design on the back. If I, on the front, I should say, on the back, uh, you can see how it's been constructed on the back here. This is a branch handle, it's ash wood. It's rather lovely. So it matches the frame, ash and ash. That is a continue, continuation there. It's laced with artificial sinew, which is great for uh, resisting the effects of moisture uh, as opposed to skin lacing. So uh, when you're coming to tune your drum, uh, we tune through moisture regulation. So if it's very dry and hot, the drum will become very dry, it'll lose its moisture, it'll become extremely tight. Sometimes we need to cool it down, re-moisturize the skin to allow it to vibrate properly to it sounds a lower tone to where, where we need to be, it to be. That's why we're tuning it down. We tune it up by warming the drum. So if the drum becomes uh, too much moisture, if it's very humid or it's very damp conditions, your drum will become looser and deeper and sometimes develop a buzz or a rattle or become like hitting the side of a cardboard box sometimes. So that means there's too much moisture in the skin. The remedy to that is to warm the drum, heat it up, allow that moisture to evaporate away and bring the tension back into the drum. And that's how we tune a shamanic drum. Uh, so that's where, where the artificial sinew is beneficial, as well as being extremely strong uh, and long lasting. Driftwood hollow drums, I've burnt that on the inside of the frame as long with ash and horse. And that's so you've always got a reference point to the materials that we used. Uh, I've also put the date of birth, which is the 3rd of September 2022 in Knighton, Powys, UK. And that is so that you can look at the astrological aspects of the drum, find out what was happening on the day when the drum was birthed and how the effects of the planets affecting the drum moving forwards, just as we do for ourselves or any situation, a person or animal. Uh, so yes, let's have a little play. I'll stop wittering. <laughs> I'm gonna play with a softer beater first. I'll stop halfway and I'll swap over to a firmer beater. You can see which one you prefer. There's an option for both or either of these at the checkout if you decide this is the right drum for you. Here we go. Now the beauty of these softer beaters uh, is that you can actually play very gently and very quietly if you choose to. So if you're in an environment where you don't want to disturb other people, uh, neighbours, etc., then you can actually play without it being a big sound. So that's something to consider. The firmer beater, here we go.
Beautiful. Well, I hope this has helped you to make a more informed decision when you come in to choose your shamanic drum online. It's very difficult, and that's why we make these little videos. I'm Crow, it's been Drift with Holly Drums. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.